It's the lesson with Mr. Clark on Lake Effect Radio. You're gonna learn today. You're gonna learn today. All right, all right, all right. Hey, people out there in Radio Land. This is Mr. Clark back with another episode of the lesson. We're at episode 10. Can you believe it? We made it 10 weeks strong. That's right. No stops, no pit breaks. Um, this week, our teachable moment, I'm actually going to start off with it. I thought I was going to have to switch it around because I wasn't sure if I really wanted to talk about this or how I was going to talk about it, but I figured it out. So this week's teachable moment, not really a moment, it's just a lesson. This is not really nothing in the news that relates to it, but we can relate this to a lot of things. The proverb of being aware of the low hanging fruit. So not only is it a proverb, it's an economic term. Um... And basically, in economics, being aware of the, uh, no, the low-hanging fruit is uh, the easy customers. So, basically, you you sell your product to the people who are most accessible and um, who are most interested in what you have to offer. So, they're easy. But, there's only so many of them. So, eventually, you'll have to put in more effort into what you're doing or what you're creating in order to get those higher fruit. Boom, that's economics. But that's not what we're talking about today. We're talking about the proverb. So you want to be aware of the low hanging fruit. So what that basically means is the things that are usually easy to get aren't necessarily the most valuable. And if it's easy to get, it usually comes with some type of mm, catch, I guess would be the word I would want to use today. So and I want you to know that I actually got this from watching an episode of uh, The Breakfast Club. Charlemagne the Guy was in interviewing someone. Oh, I don't remember his name. It was like Nashad Rashid or something like that. I'm so bad at this. He's the director of Hidden Colors. So basically, he dropped that proverb on me. And I was like, ooh, that's deep. I should talk about that on the show. So... Why am I talking about this? Because I feel like a lot of people are doing things just because it's easy and not necessarily putting the work in. And that can cause a lot of issues in your life. Let's say, for instance, in relationships, that guy, that girl who was super easy to pull at the club. Yeah, that's cool. But it's probably because they broke or they're um, friendly. That's what I call it. Like <laughs> I told my friend, I was like, why you want to mess with him? He look friendly. She's like, what that mean? I'm like, it look like he be all up in a lot of different folks face and you might have to share so that's what friendly mean so yeah it was easy to catch them maybe get some money out of them date them but it comes with a catch you mess around with an std that low-hanging fruit um careers okay it was easy to get that job but it probably don't pay that much there's not a lot of growth in that job so just always be aware things that are easy to get are usually not worth having and things that's worth having usually aren't easy to get now i know you're thinking doesn't this relate to last week's topic where i talked about um everything that glitters is the gold no because things that are gold and glittery can sometimes often be hard to get but once you actually have them they're not worth it but this is totally different that's saying if you know it's easy then it probably ain't worth having probably being the operative word some things that are easy are worth having um i just want you to keep that in mind and the last component was concepts right so oftentimes we look in the news and we look at albums so you know i'm gonna relate this back to b because lemonade is still popping on the charts of course it's not even a week what am, what are you, what am i even talking about let me uh, anyways um a lot of people are taking that album at face value and i have to admit myself some of the I was more caught up in the juicy, ooh, she's cheating. But if you really take a deeper look and separate the music from the visuals, because oftentimes they're not necessarily um, relating to the same thing, you find deeper meaning. So I'm going to encourage everybody to take a deeper look at the album and kind of read into it further. She drops a lot of knowledge and a lot of history um, that I didn't necessarily even know. So it's crazy. Um, I also want you guys to be aware of the news 
I realize that a lot of the stuff that we're talking about right now is is really a distraction from bigger issues that we should be paying attention to. Do you guys know that there are currently two nuclear plants leaking radiation right now? But we worried about who using what bathroom. Ain't nobody dev got cancer from that. Anyways, that's kind of my lesson. Think on it further. If you've caught some low low hanging fruit and come to find out that it didn't taste too good drop me an email at ask the lesson at gmail.com and tell me about it so maybe you can be on the show um with that i feel like i want to play a song hey everybody thanks for enjoying that musical break and we're back with our well are my new segment and it's actually called royal wretched or from wretched to royal or royally wretched i don't know it's something with wretched and royal we'll decide later but as i introduced to you guys a while back this show was basically edutainment right because we both wretched and royal sometimes we got to get ghetto sometimes we got to get educated and i want to highlight both so these articles or these news topics are going to kind of be pulling from that. So, um, almost true to the form, our most wretched royal person we have, well, not, not our most, but one of them is befitting that is Soldier Boy. So did you see? So according to the artic- uh, article by XL and Vibe and Soldier Boy himself via IG and Twitter, <laughs> he actually recently signed a $400 million deal. You better do that. Um, so this is a significant uh, net worth increase for him. At the age of 25, he was worth $25 million. As of today, he should be worth somewhere around $400 million. He hasn't officially released the album since 2010, titled The DeAndre Way. Remember, he had us all cranking it? But he has dropped over 40 independent mixtapes since then. What? Did you, did you hear? I didn't. But hey, who cares? He's still getting money. <laughs> I'm going to play that song. Um, but has dropped over 40 independent mixtapes. Um, and he's a star on Love and Hip Hop Hollywood just to keep that train moving. Um, I actually tip my hat off to Soldier Boy. It's easy to dismiss him. This is kind of scripted, so I'm going to just read it. Because it's personal, but he has actually one of the he was actually one of the first internet celebrities for us to ever have. That's right, he made his way via MySpace, one of the first internet celebrities, and he made paved the way for people like uh, us, the duo Justin Bieber's. So we really should respect Soldier Boy more than we actually do. And considering he just made four hundred million, he just he just closed a four hundred million dollar deal. He popping. He about his business. I mean. B worth five hundred. He only a hundred million away. We need to give him some respect. Um, and some other memorable memorable things he did. He was actually one of the first internet celebrities to have a bio movie done and actually released in theaters. Remember that? Um, that was hot. It was released in theaters. Um, he also did property deals overseas and some art deals i thought that was crazy if you ain't follow soldier boy like that he was really out here selling art and stuff and of course he did some overseas marijuana distribution um which is legal there and he's he didn't necessarily sell it himself but he linked up with people so he's been doing hot business for a long time now so to see this coming is kind of like oh that's hot but it's kind of in his character too so i thought that was like wretchedly wretched royal royally wretched he out here being ghetto and on love and hip hop, but he about his money and he know how to handle that business. So let's all take a lesson from Soldier Boy. Be a little bit of both. Um, I wanted to congratulate him. And while we don't know why he's getting four hundred million dollars or who he actually signed the deal with, because he's kind of keeping it a secret right now. Um, I want to commend him. He says official details will come out in June, where he drops his next album, Better Late Than Never. He funny um and apparently according to him cbs fox and forbes are currently fighting over who's going to release the official story about the deal so soldier boy good for you bruh we looking forward to it and keep showing us i'm kind of jealous i'm 24 and i ain't worth thirty thousand. so soldier boy you getting it i i like that in you um 
and some other articles. So that was basically like the one I did the most uh, digging on. But did you guys get a chance to see Kelly Ripper pop off on Michael Strahan? She ain't having it. He thought he was just going to walk out scot-free. No, she going to get her some digs in. So basically, they had opened up the show. And before starting the topic, she, uh, the topic was divorce. And she looked over at Michael. He's like, you've been divorced, haven't you? And everybody knows Michael lost his, all his money in the divorce. So she was being extra shady when she did that. And I have a feeling there's going to be a few dig moments like that. But I like Wade feel like he deserve it. You can't be playing with people, playing with people's money. So before he leave the door, I foresee a couple more little sipping moments. And I'm, I'm interested. I want to see it. Maybe he'll clap back. That'd be super interesting. Um, maybe he hit her. No, I ain't even gonna go into all that. Um, and then my last wretched royal article. I feel like this one's super quick. Is actually in regards to Black China. So in the maybe in the media right now, her and Rob are still having their thing. She's currently trying to lock down a reality show. To officially debut their relationship. She's shown off the engagement ring time after time. And the Kardashians have officially announced their feelings about it. Have you seen it? It's funny. Um, And Kendall actually popped off on Rob about re-gifting the iPad. Did you see it? That's Wretched Royal. How you feel about re-gifting? I don't think it's a big issue. I mean... You wanted me to have something, I have it, and I wanted somebody else to have something. I didn't want to spend my money, so I gave them the gift. It's kind of jacked up, but they rich, so like they get stuff all the time. She was just being petty. Um, what was my final? Oh, Black China. So it it looks like somebody shopping around a sex tape of her and Tyga. And she has threatened a lawsuit if it's released. Now, she was like, look, maybe back in the day I needed that type of publicity. But right now I'm popping, so I'm going to need you to quit playing with me. And I feel her. She worth more than that. And while they say it doesn't show anybody's face, in, uh, anybody specific, in specific face, the tattoos are there. So you can identify them. So... Maybe um we'll have another Ray J Kim Kardashian situation to look forward to. Who knows? We'll see. That was the end of the wretched royal topic. Tell me how you feel about it. Is it something wretched or royal going on in your life? I want to know. Cuz I'm nosy like that. Not really, but it is funny. Let me know at ask the lesson at gmail.com and in honor of our good friend soldier boy and all his coins he making right now we're gonna play hop about the bed get your swag on take a look into what not what soldier boy was the first one to wake up flawless oh did you see he got a credit on beyonce's album he getting it on the low that's what it's about getting it on the low and then stunting on the high we'll see Hey, people, that was our old to soldier boy for being, he probably set some record for being, like, young and paid. 25 years old? 500, no, 425 million? I, I, I would think that was a record. But, anywho, thanks for coming back. This is our final segment, and I'm going to try to talk slower because I got 30 minutes of air to fill, and I only got, like, three more stories. <laughs> so this is senior seminar where we talk about not sex not religion not i gotta see what else on the do not talk about race not a lot of other stuff but we kind of do but we kind of introduce it but we don't dig in too far but these actually i can dig in because they're not really in relation to that in a big way so um being aware of low hanging fruit in the news right now we're talking about bathrooms where we really should be talking about water and i'm not talking flint i'm talking about miami i'm talking about new york yep that's right people the good old government is at it again there are currently two nuclear plants leaking tr tryptium which is uh 
hydrogen based radioactive chem particle and basically it's the um water runoff of the reactors and nuclear plants and um it costs a lot of money to actually store the wastewater and contaminants um of these nuclear plants and and in in indiana Indiana Point Power Plant leaking in Trippingham is in New York City and Turkey Point Power Plant in Miami. So if you want to research those and look in a little bit further, um, tryptium is a radioactive chem particle, as I said before, but they're saying that there's not actually any specific health risk related to it, which is why the government is allowing it um, to occur right now. But it, it is radioactive water and it can't be easily removed and they actually don't have a process of removing it right now. So while it's only found in groundwater around the plant and it's supposed to be protected by plastic and hasn't gotten into public water, it's still very much an issue and still um occurring as of this day. And the very first article I saw talking about it actually was in February and we're in may yeah and this is probably the first time you're hearing about it so there that go um oh and i wanted to kind of rejar you guys' memory back to the japanese earthquake and tsunami remember that was in the news and it was such a big deal because the earthquake um actually disrupted their nuclear plant and it was actually a big news story at that time because it wasn't happening in the u.s because you know how we do it and how that was how the radiation from that was going to affect the california coast because the currents were bringing the radiation over from japan remember that remember how it was such a big deal and yet we haven't heard about the radiation <laughs> happening right here in our own soil so japan might end up being a problem again during my research i actually uh saw that the government is finding that it's extra expensive to house that contaminated water there's currently over 1 million tons so there's these big uh contaminated water plants um fields where they are holding these big tons of water and it's becoming so much more expensive so they're deciding if they need to figure out a process of removing the tryptium and actually reintroducing the water into the water supply or if they're just going to dump it into the ocean now, remember I said that it was such a big deal that it accidentally got into the ocean and it was washing up on the California shore? Well, yeah, they're going to dump it on purpose now. So, do your Googles, folks. That's all I'm going to say about that. Um, but the USNRC, the Nuclear Regula Regulatory Commission, wants you to know that tryptium is actually a naturally occurring chemical and you actually ingest it regularly or um but not to that level but considering the fact that they're going to dump it into the ocean and it's being contaminated it's contaminating it could potentially contaminate public water and you could drink it bathe it um the fish that are going to be caught are going to live in it and also the shellfish those levels will probably increase significantly if that was to happen so whatever um forbes also wants you to know because everyone's kind of trying to downplay it that sunbathing and eating bananas are also radioactive so there you go i wanted to be fair so i covered it on both ends while i'm telling you be aware i'm telling you that they saying it's not a big deal but i think it is um the other thing i wanted to talk about because i feel like i've been i don't want to say that um, I'm really into spirituality. I told you I wasn't necessarily religious, but I was spiritual. And a part of that, I think, is astrology. Now, I don't take this into account like holy, like, oh, my God, everything they say is what you should be feeding into. But right now in astrology, there are five planets in retrograde. So I wanted to talk about that a little bit. Now, while astronomers do say that the way the planets move have nothing to do with this, we know that we're all connected in um there's energy and vibes and everything so why wouldn't it affect us there's sound waves and we just recently found out that there's another force other than gravity that affects us so i'm like are you kidding me i'm thinking this stuff really does matter 
So as of April 28th, mark the first day that all five planets are actually going to be in retrograde, which this is actually a significant event because it hasn't happened in over 10 years. So I would think it was worth mentioning. Um, one of them is Mercury. Mercury actually represents communication and technology in, extra, in astronomy. I mean, astrology. So many are forthcoming with their feelings. Some things that you've been high in are naturally going to become, um, you're going to be more prepared to express yourself with secrets you've been keeping up, um, which can often lead to miscommunication, right? Because these are things you've been high in. So when Mercury is in retrograde, people have been known to pop off a lot more than they usually have. So that's something to keep in mind and which is why it's a big deal so have you popped off lately and you've been wondering what you've been going through it's probably because of mercury um one of the other planets is jupiter it actually ends may 9th um and this relates to personal expansion so roadblocks are often removed so this is a good thing during um a jupiter retrograde so what is retrograde i actually forgot to explain that so retrograde is basically when the planets appear to be moving, rotating backwards. It's an optical illusion. It relates to the way that they rotate around the sun. At times, they rotate faster than the sun. So this gives it the op optical illusion that it's actually rotating backwards. But it's not. They're always rotating in the same direction. We just can't see it like that. So basically, because of that, the vibrations and the, the opticals or whatever, it's supposed to affect us. Um, Pluto is the planet that relates to love and relationships and transformation, death and rebirth, but transformation automatically sinks into death and rebirth. So during this time, you may do some soul searching, some detoxification and purification. So getting rid of those bad friends, introducing some new ones, maybe your relationship will change while Pluto is in retrograde. Um, even both removal of emotional baggage now while removal of emotional baggage is a good thing it's often a painful process so that's why pluto being in retrograde is such a big deal mars is another one of those planets it relates to emotions especially anger and aggression so again not only are you communicating feelings that you normally would wouldn't it's also adding on the passion and the anger of all that that you've been holding in saturn is relating to karma growth and work so um this is a time where those comeuppets would definitely come around especially in regards to growth and your career so that kind of probably explains why beyonce dropped this passionately aggressive album towards her husband right communication aggressiveness um karma and growth isn't that interesting and then soldier boy of all people signs a 400 million dollar gear deal that sounds pretty retrograde to me things just happening all around has anything like that happened to you let us know um what else did i want to say in regard to the planets being in retrograde there was actually a quote i wanted to read but i can't find my phone right now but basically, while this is a trying time, they want you to remember that trying times are lessons. So while the planets being in retrograde might seem to throw things off, take, to, take the time to do a personal inventory. I love that word. And really realize what these situations are trying to teach you. Oftentimes, when things fall apart, it gives us a chance to pull them back together in a great way. So think about that. Other things that are in the news that I can't really talk about but are funny is, did you guys see the White House correspondence? Well, me either, but I watched the highlights. I'm actually going to try to watch the full movie so by next week we can have maybe an in-depth discussion when I'm doing multi-generational night with Miss G and Miss Ishiri. Um, but Obama, been he just, he just he gave it to Trump. He shouted out. Um, Bernie Sanders that he was disappointed in him from moving away from him. He made jokes about the press giving Trump too much attention, and then he dropped the mic. If you haven't seen it, please check out the video. It's it even if you don't agree with his policies, it's funny enough. 
something else that happened. Oh, Detroit makes community college free. So, even without Bernie, we might head in that direction, folks. Um, something else that I felt like was worthy of talking about. Beyonce album continues to soar. Mm. Carrie Washington is having her second child. There's currently a beautiful video of Jay-Z and the baby dancing together. You should check that out. Um, kind of keeping that family, family together even through this craziness that's happening. So crazy. The Dixie Chicks r recorded the Daddy's Lesson off of Lemonade, uh, making it even more country than Beyonce did. I think that was cool. And Justin Bieber still pissing people off. Takes a picture ch with a chain tiger. And Peter didn't like that. So. Yep. That's all I got, folks. And because we talked about the planets being in retrograde, I'm going to play that song I played before. By. I don't know her name off the top of my head. That is so crazy. Corinne Bailey Ray. I've been to the moon. Because we talked about planets being a retrograde. So why not? It just seems appropriate, right? Cool thing. Mm -hmm. 